Hi hey everybody. This is my 40 gallon native tank and today I want to tell a cautionary tale about testing our water. Now I know I go on about testing my water quite frequently. It's something I think is important. I know a lot of people out there say they never bother or they don't do it. It's not something you have to do but it is something that can save you a lot of headache if you just do some regular tests on some parameters that you know might need testing once in a while that might change or shift. And in this case, I completely neglected to do so, and the result is I now have a dead crayfish. So when I first set this tank up, I assumed that the water coming out of my tap was very similar to the water that I caught these crayfish in, and that was because I had a faulty water hardness test. The water hardness test kept showing zero degrees hardness. And long story short, I eventually figured out that I had this faulty test, and once I got an accurate test, I realized that the water these crayfish came in, or came from, I should say, is about six degrees hardness and that's the amount of calcium and magnesium that's in the water and when i'd put them in my tank with no calcium or magnesium uh, i immediately began having problems with some of them dying during their molting process they weren't able to molt successfully because of the low hardness the the lack of calcium in the water they need that and so i put some um, it's called oyster grit or it's called poultry grit. It's made of crushed oyster shells and aragonite coral. And I put about a cup of that in the tank. I mixed it in with the substrate and it brought my tank's water hardness up to about six degrees general hardness. So that matched perfectly with what the water these crayfish came from. And I stopped having problems. I actually had several successful molts after that. And so I assumed that the problem was solved. The other day, I found my last crayfish was dead and it died during the molting process. And a lot of people suggested that my water is too soft, I needed calcium in the water, and I immediately dismissed everybody saying, no, my water is the same as the water they come from. I've put additives in the water, I know it's the same. And then I got to thinking about it and I said, you know what, I don't know that it's the same. I know it was the same. But things like tannic acid, for example, and this tank is loaded with tannic acid, that will actually diminish your water's general hardness over time. Tannic acid reacts with the calcium in a way, I don't fully understand the chemistry, but at the end of the day, you have less general hardness if you have a lot of tannins being produced in your tank. And this tank, as I said, has tons of tannin in it. And so I checked and sure enough, my water hardness is down to zero. And just to be sure that my test was accurate, I actually made up a sample batch of water that I put a little bit of calcium and magnesium solution in it and immediately got off the charts hardness. I went across the street, I tested some of the water that I you know, would have got the crayfish in, the stream water across the street. It's showing right as I suspected, six degrees hardness. So over time, the hardness in this tank diminished. The calcium, the magnesium, you know, the aragonite that I had put in there dissolved away. It's gone. It's no longer providing any water hardness. The oyster shells are something that dissolves so slowly that they're probably not adding enough hardness that it matters. It's the aragonite that's really doing that. So when I look in the tank, I can visually see little specks of white stuff in the back of the tank where I threw everything but I suspect that is now just the oyster shells and no longer any aragonite in there. My soft acidic water has just dissolved that stuff away and now I'm back to zero degrees hardness. And if that was something I had checked once in a while, I would have seen that the water hardness was coming down and I could have added more of this poultry grid or I could have added more aragonite as time went on and we'd probably still have my crayfish right now fresh from a molt looking even bigger than ever and so now I got to start over and we got to catch new crayfish and that's you know I'm not going to lose any sleep over that um, but at the same time I really would have liked to see that crayfish survive and and molt again and we could have seen it got bigger and grow to its full potential in this tank but because of my lack of care my lack of maintenance you know I did not do the water testing as I should have I assumed that the water was just as hard as it was six months ago or three months ago or whatever I'm really surprised at how quickly it got back to zero degrees hardness now I will say I just did a water change yesterday and it was a pretty big water change but first of all 
it was only a 50% water change or a 60% water change. So even if it was only six degrees hardness before, there should still be some hardness in the tank. And secondly, it had been over 24 hours. If there was still any aragonite in the tank, that would have had an impact on that water within that 24 hours. It would be showing some hardness and I'm showing none. The, if you know how the water uh, test works, you, you put the drops in and you count them. When it changes color, the number of drops is how many degrees hardness you have. And when I put the first drop in, it's already the finished color. There is no count of one. It's immediately the first drop I put in, it's already green. So I have no water hardness anymore. And I'm pretty sure that's why the crayfish didn't survive the, the sloughing process or the molting process, whatever you prefer to call that. So there you go, a lesson to us all, test your water, it's important. Your tank parameters change over time and you can't just assume that because the water was this way when you put it in, it's still that way now. Things change over time and they need to be kept up on or you can run into issues. So there's my little two cents for today and lesson to us all, as I said. So make sure you're subscribed. You never know what you're going to get with me. Uh, you will be getting very soon a video of us going down the street to catch some more crayfish and I'll be putting some more aragonite in the tank. Maybe we'll do some limestone uh, in there or something, but we'll be shooting a video about the water hardness on this tank coming up here soon as I put some more uh, substrate back in there and that sort of thing so you can look forward to that and again you just never know what else you might get with me so make sure you're subscribed you never know and then i'll see you on the next one thanks a lot